Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here with another super rare radionic instrument. This is the Radiation Laboratory from the famous Hieronymus, Galen Hieronymus. This is one of his tools, his Radiation Laboratory as he called it. And these are very, very difficult to find, as is anything really originally from Hieronymus and his designs even though he was producing things um, up into the late 60s, I believe. He lived to be quite a nice, ripe old age, and his wife took over to some degree, but most of his stuff has been disappeared. Well, now, this is an interesting. It has these kind of stainless steel handles to carry it around with. Uh, it has these types of... Um, now, these push in. You can see that. So they push in and then you can release them from here. So uh, these were to, uh, of types of energetic frequencies that you would push in. And of course, you have, uh, you'd have you be sending the energies out to different machines, etc. Um, we're not really sure. Well, this has to be opened up like everything else, looked inside, inspected to find out, well, what is it all about? What did he consider radiation um, a laboratory. This is a very, very rare piece of equipment, and not much is known about uh, his use, etc., of what this would be used for and how. Um, so this is another bit of radionic history. Let's spin this around a little and see what we can do. You can see it's a little rough from the years. This goes way back. I do have an original 1950s unit from him, which we'll be showing you soon. You can see this goes back quite a ways. This could go to the 40s easily. Uh, these are actually leather here, as it's made. You don't see that too often. It's got your typical cheap wood that's covered with uh, fabric here. This is uh, very typical. Usually it's covered with some sort of plastic, so I can show you that even that is uh, goes back further because uh, apparently weren't using plastic. Here's the side again, and where the cover hooked up over. And again, as I said, you got these leather, which is really goes back. This actually, I picked this up out of Holland, of all places. But apparently, this says Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where this originated from, or was moved around, or in some lot. It looks as lot collection. Express Agency, Railroad, it goes back to the railroads. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's <laughs> that old. So you're talking about something that goes way back um, into the, most likely the 40s. Could this go back to the 20s or 30s? I don't know. Uh, it certainly could. Um, but as usual, those who really want to get the inside scoop have to be all access members, have to be members of Patreon so we can open these up and have the time and funds and the interest to actually look inside of these units. And then we can uh, really um, get into some serious research. But you can see how cool this is. This is kind of a rubbery, these are rubbery plastic. As I said, there's where your release button is. There seems to be 120 of these radiation frequencies that you can use. So this certainly is exciting. Another fascinating bit of history for anyone who's involved in subtle energy physics, radionics, etc. So you're one of the few that are watching this that actually get to see one of these units. And you can be even one of the more fewer that gets to see what's inside here. What did he have in mind? What is radiation laboratory? What's the guts of this? Be one of those that see it. Support IGOS, the only organization doing this kind of important, serious work. And of course, check our links below. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It's important to support IGOS, the only people doing this. Until next time.